Holy smokes. Hello. Holy smokes. Hello. Good evening. Welcome to breaking news here on the Shifts and Pucks podcast. Of course, you can follow us on Twitter at Shifts and Pucks, Facebook.com Shifts and Pucks, YouTube.com Shifts and Pucks, Twitch.com Shifts and Pucks. Subscribe wherever you get your audio, as well as on the Area 51 Sports Network, as it has just happened. It just broke as we are just uh, going live here with some instant reaction. I'm Kevin. Uh, Matthew Kachuk, after uh, after this week, he comes out and he uh, comes and breaks the uh, breaks his uh, decides that he's not going back to the Calgary Flames. He's not going to sign a long term extension. And lo and behold, the Matthew Kachuk has been traded to the Florida Panthers tonight. This just broke right now. The trade. And has been officially announced by the Calgary Flames. Um, and we're just getting the deals of it here. But coming back to the Calgary Flames, left winger Jonathan Huberto, defenseman Matthew McKenzie Weger, a prospect named Cole Schwint, and a conditional first-round pick from 2025 that could potentially be 2026. Uh, Kachuk has signed an eight year, $76 million deal, 9.5 average value. Um, Huberto, of course, was third, uh, was sorry, let me correct, make sure I correct myself on that. But, uh, Huberto was in my list, by the way, as Hart Trophy candidates, uh, kid there. Uh, he had an outstanding season for the floor, for the Florida Panthers. Um, and he comes, Mackenzie Weger. There was talk that the Ottawa Senators at some point this year were looking for him or trying to get him. He was on the radar for a number of teams, but the Calgary Flames have got him as well. Uh, Huberto finished tied with Johnny Gaudreau in points, 115. 30 goals, 85 assists, 115 points for the Florida Panthers. Uh, Mackenzie Weger as well, an acquisition uh, defenseman, as I mentioned. Uh, Schwint has played three games last year with the Florida Panthers. He sp spent most of this year uh, in Charlotte, 72 games, 40 points, 19 goals, 40 assists. And the, the first round pick is from possibly 2025. The Panthers do not actually technically have a first round pick until uh, to, they don't have a first round pick next year. They don't have a first round pick in 2024, uh, but they do have one uh, that, but, and they just gave that the 2025 one up. So to sign Matthew Kachuk, that is what the Florida Panthers have given up. And oh my goodness, um, I just, that is an incredible haul. I you got to give some incredible kudos to Brad Tree Living for pulling this trade off. This was a situation that it was a no win situation. You lose Johnny Gaudreau at literally the last second to the Columbus Blue Jackets. You lose Matthew Kachuk. Um, he's not going to sign long term, and you get if he's not the best left winger in the league, he's the second best. Uh, Jonathan Huberdeau, you get a very reliable defenseman that can uh, that can replace an injured Chris Tanev and improves your right side immensely. Even with Chris Tanev back, Mackenzie Weger is a tremendous add. Um, physical, uh, versatile, can actually play on both sides of the of the ice. Here, um, he's a guy that can, you can probably pair with Nikita Zadorov. You can probably pair with Oliver Shillington move up and down that defensive lineup. You added some, some tremendous depth. You added some AHL depth. And either way that this looks at here, this is a first round pick for the Calgary Flames uh, and maybe down the road, but you're probably looking at this. Eventually this becomes, we had this whole conversation about the rebuild retool. Very clearly, this is not the direction that the Flames are going right now. Both Huberto and Uyghur are UFAs after the season. And remember, this is Brad Trelevin's final year. This is Daryl Sutter's final year. So I think that they looked at this and said, let's 
take a shot and see what we can get. And I think they got an incredible haul for this. And Kachuk does sign a nine, his nine million dollar contract in eight years. I I just think that this is a what a a great move, a great coup for Brad Tree Living. You can put uh Huberto with Elias Lindholm and maybe an Andre Majapani. Does that allow you to move up a younger player? Uh, does that give an opportunity to Jacob Pelche, or do you go through free agency and see if you can find somebody else here? Um, they have in a projected cap space of eighteen million dollars right now at this particular point. So, uh, according to Cap Friendly, so that's the other thing. So, there's a lot of other things and moving parts that can happen here. But very clearly, I think a couple of other things that this is um, here that you know. I think, could I just have a little bit of a quick conversation to you here on Twitter and social media? Can I just say something? I think it's really easy to say, to make these comments about rebuild, rebuild, and make these instant reactions. I think that patience sometimes is often an underrated virtue. And this was, I, I said this about this. I think that this was a pragmatic approach. Um Maybe we'll dig into this when we all gather together. I, I can't help but wonder what Daryl Sutter's influence on this trade was, if he had any influence on this. Um, ownership, there's a lot of things in play here. But, you know, I think overall you've got, and, and it's already Twitter is exploding at this point already here, uh, with you've got to give Brad Tree Living credit. This was just simply a situation where you could not get... Um, I just, let me take a break. That, this was not an, a very difficult situation for Brad Trillivan. This was a not a win situation. And I know that people were targeting Jordan Cairo. I know people were target, targeting prospects. And um, there was all these trade trackers. I think it's, it's you know what? I, I, hard not to say that Calgary's done a lot better. And now for the better than they would have came up with. Now for the future, that's an interesting question. Um, but... You know, if you can get Huberto to sign or Uyghur, one of the two, that's a great ad. I, I, I mean, Jonathan Huberto is the best Canadian left winger again. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but that's I, this is a great haul. Puts the Flames back in that in that place of of possibly being a contender. You see, you could just see if you go on Flames Twitter. Twitter has just exploded. Um, see some other tweets here before we sign off. I know just saw Frank Cervelli just tweeted some, um, this Huberto, by the way, did not have a no, uh, did have a no trade clause. It did not have Huberta and Calgary on that trade list here. That's interesting. Um, as well, uh, just seeing some other tweets here. Uh, Jeremy Rutherford, I think is just, he's close with the flames. Um, Rutherford, uh, where Jeremy Rutherford saying Florida among the teams, the athletic reported this week that Kachuk had interest in. So that's interesting. I just saw a tweet from Frank Saravelli as well that I want, just wanted to check. Um, who else was in on this conversation too? Um, here and, but, uh, the, hur the hurricanes were in on that, um, as well as the St. Louis blues. Uh, but, that is, that's the deal. Matthew Kachuk traded to Florida. He signs the, the contract that everyone expected him to sign. And now, um, and now the Calgary Flames get Jonathan Huberto and Mackenzie Weger. Both again are unrestricted free agents. They get a prospect in Cole Schwint. We'll learn a little bit more about him. They get a first round pick in 2025 or 2026, depending on the condition. And, Flames Twitter's back, baby. Everything is all okay in Flames Twitter, as Noah Adler just tweeted out as I'm doing this. But uh, there you go. Let us know what you think. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, Shifts and Pucks, you can follow us all individually on Twitter. Uh, Devin Gordhau09. Uh, uh, Tyler T-N-O-B-L-E. Sean Beardy Canuck 03. Chris Schneids, S-C-H-N-E-I-D-Z. K-E-V-O-L-E. K-E-V-O-L-E, Shifts and Pucks, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, subscribe wherever you get your audio, as well as on the Area 51 Sports Network. Thanks, everyone, for watching and listening. Let us know what you think as Matthew Kachuk as Florida Panther, Jonathan Huberto, Mackenzie Weger have joined the Calgary Flames. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you all very soon. Bye for now.